Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a Divine Feminine reading because I've been in, I've had this empowerment to do so, okay? So this is for Divine Feminines all around the world, okay? So please keep in mind this is a general reading. This may not resonate with everyone and that's okay, it's not meant to. Um, you might find a message in here. You might find a message in some of my other readings, okay? So, if you would like a personal reading, please look uh, in the description box. My email is there, okay? So, let's do this. Spirit guides, guardian angels, please guide and protect me in this reading. And let me be aware of the message being given to me. So, I can give that message to Divine Feminines, okay? This message is for the Divine Feminine. I hope everyone is having a fabulous morning. A good morning. You know, you feel good. Did you do your yoga this morning? Your stretches? Drink you some coffee? Maybe some water? Spirit guides, guardian angels. What's going on? Spirit guides, guardian angels. What's going on with the Divine Feminine for August 5th through the 12th? Spirit guides, guardian angels, what are the energies showing for Divine Feminine? What needs to be worked on? What needs to be healed? What needs to be looked at? Spirit guides, guardian angels, what is going on? What's the main energy? What is the source of the of the um, this reading today? What's the highs? What's the lows? Tell us everything so that we can know. Spirit guides, guardian angels, what is the message coming through for the divine feminines all around the world? Spirit guides, guardian angels, bring the message to the tarot and let's reveal the message. Okay. I want to do it like this. There's that four of wands again. Okay. Okay. Four of Wands just wanting to just show up all the time. Okay, so we have the Tower. The Moon card. Something is coming up, okay? Something is coming out of the darkness. Something is being exposed, okay? Your illusions that you've been having, your confusion, okay? Is now starting to open up. You're starting to see the light within the darkness, okay? Um, <coughs> you know, it's almost like okay there is a situation involved here okay it's like you know you're holding on to this situation that involves a relationship possibly a, a reunion um someone getting together this is you know having a good time spending time together enjoying each other this could mean marriage. This is stability. Look, there's four wands stuck into the ground, okay? This is like a little um, a tent, a, a canopy for people to come and hang out and, you know, uh, drink and have a good time. So there's a lot of joy right here, okay? But it's like... Someone doesn't want this joy. Someone doesn't want this happiness. Someone's been, you know, within a delusion. Very delusional. Within an illusion about a situation. You know, they're closed off from having this good time. They're closed off from, from seeing the truth within within this connection with someone, somebody, this could mean a lot of people as well. You know, someone's walking around in the darkness, being confused, staying in this tornado, staying in this storm because they're 
out of fear. They're afraid of happiness. So they're, they're closed off to it. Why? Why would you be closed off to it? And you know what, you guys? This is the star card. I was thinking about the star card earlier today. Well, this morning when I was drinking uh, my coffee and, you know, doing my morning deeds, I just, you know, the star card is about healing. It's about hope. Hope comes through when nothing else is there. And it asks you to have hope because there is hope, okay? There is a choice. You don't have to go down this way. You don't have to be confused and be in an uproar and an upheavalness all the time. There's a different way to go. There's more than a different way. There's more than two ways. There's, you know, there's so many different ways that you can approach this situation if you just have the hope because there is a strong connection here there is stability here why would someone want to go through the darkness and go through the upheavalness and be closed off okay to a connection or perhaps this connection here okay this connection here is bringing in healing is bringing in hope, is bringing in that truth that this is what you wish for, this is what you want, your wishes are coming through, so now it's like you're walking through the darkness, you have this upheavalness. Yes, you are closed off, but look, there's hope here, okay? What is that saying? Um... Oh, I forgot what it is. But there's 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 not one way, okay? There's definitely many different paths and many different ways. Um, and many different um, routes to get to your destination. If you just believe, if you have that hope. I see there, there you know, with this spread, it's like, you know, we have the moon card here. This is fears. You know, this is fear, staying trapped in this fear of a place, staying trapped in this upheaval, staying trapped in, in this karmic situation out of fear. Fear of the unknown. But I see there's, there's a connection here that's helping you open up, okay? There's a connection here. With the star card and the four of wands. That's stable. That's helping you open up. And release these things that you've been holding on to for some time. Now why you have been holding on to these things I do not know. And what you have been holding on to out of fear. Is something that would have to be done for personal reading. The page of wands. The Five of Coins. The King of Wands. We have Fire Signs, Scorpio, Aquarius showing, just saying. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Full Card. Divine Feminines, there's some good news coming towards you, okay? And I definitely feel like it is a Divine Masculine, because there's a Divine Masculine right here in the middle, who's definitely taking action, okay? Yes, this is Sagittarius Leo Aries sign, but it this is also a Divine Masculine who has a passion, who has a desire to seek out the truth. This man wants something. This man has ambition, has desire. This man is very passionate about what he does and who he works with. And there is a connection here, you know. There is stability with this man. I feel like this man is coming in. He might be helping you, okay. This man might be helping you in a way. This is an open hand. 
here come let me show you a new way possibly that's why you seem to be closed off to it because you had this you know you're in a fantasy you're fantasizing about something you know it's like get out of your head get out of your emotions and move forward. Take that leap of faith. That's what it's saying. The full card is here to tell you to take that leap of faith. Because this is a sense of healing. And this is the universe here. It's working in your favor. Okay? There's good news coming to you. This divine masculine is bringing in a new way, a new adventure, a new path. Okay? Even though there's so many different options, take the ones that, that is presented to you right now. It's like this energy. There's so many options that you're closed off to with the Seven of Cups. But what's helping you is this King of Wands could be a friend, family member, co-worker. This King of Wands could be someone that you are meeting at a reunion, a party, somewhere where there's a festival, somewhere where there's... Um, going to be a lot of people, possibly. I feel like this Divine Masculine is going to help you open up to start receiving the good that has been waiting for you, Divine Feminine. Now, this could definitely be a fire sign okay specific messages for fire signs but not necessarily it's just what's showing on the board here we have the judgment card we have a wake up call here someone is definitely waking up someone is definitely coming in calling making that judgment this is healing this is awakening arising to peace purity this is hearing the call as well Hearing the call within the dark times, Divine Feminine, you're hearing this abundance of joy and happiness come into your life. But not only are you hearing it, you're receiving it, okay? You're looking at things at a different perspective. You could be dealing with the Pisces because this is the hangman and the hangman is the card of Pisces. You're getting this new perspective. Not only are you getting this new perspective, but it's like you're starting to, to, to see. You're starting to realize. You're starting to open up to, what ha to, to this new offer that is being given to you, that is being handed to you by this Divine Masculine. Okay? It's being given to you by this Divine Masculine. Who's stable? Who has a want, who has a will to help you move through this time of feeling left out in the cold. Time of feeling um, like you haven't been moving, like you've been just hanging there. You know, this is a time to start healing. This is a time to, you know, it. it's like, let's see. So we have the hangman. We have the justice card as well. So, it's like you want to learn some truth behind what has kept you in this situation. Why not just let it go? Stop trying to figure everything out. Let this path go. There's a new path coming. Like I said, there's several different paths to get to your destination. There's not one. There's not two. There's not three. There's not four. There's, there's so many different paths, okay? And there's going to be obstacles that gets in your way. But that's why you have to stay strong and you have to have that focus. You have to have that power to move beyond these obstacles. Okay? And sometimes it is easier and is helpful when you have a partner with you to helping you get through. Someone who is stable. It could, they could be a Virgo here. But this is someone who's looking in. Who they have been looking and now they're waking up, okay? So this is you. I feel like this is you, Divine Feminine. This is you looking in. You have been in a situation. You're looking in, okay? Um, you're getting this new perspective about this Divine Masculine who's calling you. Who's calling you out of the dark. 
calling you on a new adventure. This adventure that he's calling you on is definitely going to be healing, okay? This new path that this Divine Masculine is taking you on is going to be healing. It's going to be adventurous. It's going to be ambitious, okay? This Divine Masculine could take you on, you know, um, a journey that was very unexpected. Very fortunate to have something like this come in and on your spread here, okay? Because this is, you know, this is finding that groundedness within this confusion with all these different options. It's like pick the one that is being presented to you, okay? If you have to go within, go within and take that introspective, okay? And you, you will feel these energies, okay? This is major arcana energies coming in, healing you. You're going to see the star. You're going to see that light come in, that refreshing energy, because you've been in a dark place. Scorpion's energy, okay? You've been in this dark place. This is the tower and the moon, but it's in reverse. You've been holding on to it, okay? Now it's time to let it go. Let it go. You've been enlightened, okay? You've been enlightened. Now it's that wake-up call, okay? And I feel like this wake-up call is with this Divine Masculine here. Or this is you taking action, Divine Feminine. It could be that masculine energy that's rushing through you to take that action, to step out of this darkness. But I do feel like this is someone that you meet, okay? This is someone who's going to help you push you, you know, show you the way, show you a new way, a new start, a new beginning. This is that full card, taking that leap of faith. Wow, then we have a King of Cups. So this Divine Masculine here is taking action with you to help you, to move you, to get you going, okay? Because there's a new and a fresh romance of love here with the King of Cups. This, this man, he loves, he loves, he loves, he loves. That's all he does. He loves. And he loves to give you love, okay? This man can, these two kings right here are very ambitious. They're very strong. They're not the pages here, okay? They're not the knights. They can control their emotions. They're gentlemen, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Divine Feminine's reading we got going on here. Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, this is for the Divine Feminine. Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, this is for the Divine Feminine. Can we get a card for the King of... This is the main energy, the King of Wands. Main energy, King of Wands showing. <clears throat> the Seven of Swords. Now one more card with the Queen of Swords. Take action. Move away from people who are treating you bad. You're in a situation where you know there's lies, deception. Okay, move away from that. Cut them loose. Cut yourself loose. Stop hanging around. Okay, and feeling like the victim. Okay. Take action. This Divine Masculine is going to show you the way. Or this could be a, a masculine energy coming through to you, Divine Feminine. Okay. Now we also have Judgment card here. The Judgment card is that True Awakening. Wow, this could definitely be a soulmate energy coming through here. Look at this. You're realizing your crown chakra is opening. You're connecting to this individual. This is a soulmate. This is someone who is going to show you things to help you get out of the seven of swords energy. Because this is that energy that you've been in, especially with the moon card and the tower card in reverse. This is, you know, sometimes the queen of swords can be cold and, br and brutal, but this is the queen of swords air sign. This is about look, you know, this is the truth. And this is what you're searching for, the truth. This And this is that man who's helping you search for the truth as well. 
Very strong energy is coming through here. I'm going to put these cards up here. So we also have the Two of Cups energies, which this Two of Cups energy is an awakening, a true calling. Knowing that you are in this energy with this Divine Masculine, knowing that you feel these energies, this Divine Masculine is helping you, you know, whether it's just his presence, his ambitions, his words, his wills, his wants, okay, is reflecting on you. You are mirroring each other, possibly. Or this could be the masculine energy that you're receiving, okay? What does this moon card here represent? Wow, so there's loyalty. We have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy here, but this is planning ahead, you know? Knowing that you've been in a situation that calls for planning, that calls for detailed work, that calls for a situation to get moving, you know. You need to find that happiness. You need to find that joy within the darkness. You need to move away from that. And I feel like that's why the Page of Wands is here. Because that King of Wands is offering you, uh, you know, is offering you a new way. You've been enlightened. You've been enlightened to a situation where there is causing you pain. Someone has stolen from you. Someone has taken from you. So it's like, why invest? I'm, I'm very delusional. I need to get away. And I definitely feel that you have a connection. Your intuition is telling you. It's telling you also to seek within. You've been the hangman. Now it's a sense, you know, you, you need to cut yourself free. We have definitely a new beginning that's happening okay this golden opportunity here this golden opportunity look the moon's in the back it's shining through over the moon okay it's it's like the sun card but it, it's in the minor arcana so it's coming through and it's paired up with the star card so there and it's in the physical this is um given to you by God's source, the universe, okay, it's healing energies, it vibrates on a very high frequency, it's bringing you happiness, it's bringing you joy, it's very ambitious, it's, it's ambitious, it's going to materialize, we have a queen of wands here, it's telling you to go ahead, take action, you know, take action, look the full, it's, you know, this is not, this is zero point, yeah, but you, this, you're coming back around so you know a lot more, Divine Feminine. You have been, you know, the fool several times. And you have walked the fool's path, the fool's journey. And if you don't know what that is, go ahead and look, check it out. Google it. It's where the fool runs into the magician, the high priestess, the, the empress, the emperor, the hierophant. This is a time of, you know going through it all over again but also you have more knowledge more truth okay especially with the hangman and the hermit here you gain more of a higher perspective okay so you could just be what is this the king of cups you know take ambition take that ambition take that want take that will it's you're not waiting around okay this Divine Masculine here, this King of Cups, is someone who wants to express their love to you. I feel like they know that you have been in a situation that it calls for balance. You know, it calls for you to take action too. It calls, it's, it's calling for you to take action, to not just sit around and do nothing. The universe isn't going to do it for you. You have to get out there and do it yourself. They will back you. They will support you. But that doesn't mean that you're going to have a smooth selling surface. No, there's going to be obstacles in your way. And that's okay. Because this is an intention to start planting that seed, okay, with that Seven of Pentacles. To get things going. So here, Divine Feminine, we have you going through a dark time. But there is a Divine Masculine that is a soulmate, okay? This is a wake-up call. I feel like this Divine Masculine is definitely going to bring you out of that dark place. And then he might leave. Or then he might stay with you, okay? 
There could be another Divine Masculine coming around too as well. It's telling you to go ahead and take action. You know, these, these people, these signi uh, significators here are people to help you to move, to move you through, okay? I feel like this Queen of Swords here is speaking the truth about someone that you've been dealing with. Spirit guides, guardian angels, can you give me a card for the tower? It's that hermit card. Go within. Seek knowledge within, okay? Seek that, that knowledge within. This is an awakening. This is a, a truth. This is awakening process. Um, could be dealing with the Scorpio, like I said. But this is a time of regeneration. You're being reborn again with the star card. So if you're feeling stuck, Divine Feminine, you won't be stuck for long. You just have to take that action and you have to take that movement. There's so many different options and so many different ways to find that groundedness. Here you are. You just have to take that option. You have to take that movement. The option here, what's showing for the general um, reading, is the King of Wands. I feel like this King of Wands is going to turn into the King of Cups. Loving and caring. There was a lot of injustice here. And so it's like, you know, what is this a justice card in reverse? It's bad news, okay? You, you've been going through some bad news. What is the four of cups in reverse? There was a lover card. Okay, that we have the lover card and the sun card. So you're not seeing things clearly. You're not seeing the, this, this equalness, the good news that is coming through to you, okay? It's like you're taking it, but give it some time, Divine Feminine. Because within time, it's going to break this cycle. It's going to break this cycle of you holding back within the physical so that you can move forward because of one bad relationship or one bad stop or something bad that happened you know to you it's going to help you open up and move from this situation of darkness let's get um let's get some one card here for divine feminine spirit guides guardian angels this is the wisdom of the oracle I will be getting new cards in. I cannot wait because they're going to be fabulous cards, you guys. And what is the main energy for the Divine Feminine? Spirit guides, guardian angels for this spread. August 5th through the 12th. August 5th through the 12th. Divine Feminine is coming through strong. Coming out of a dark situation. There's a Divine Masculine here who's trying to... Help the Divine Feminine. She has many different options as well. She's fantasizing, but she needs to take action. What is the correct card? Flexible. Be flexible to the, to the situation and go the distance. Don't be so stiff, you know. Don't be so stiff to where if you move, you break, you know. Be flexible. Maybe it is that you need to do some yoga. To let this energy go through you. Maybe it is that you need to take a run. Go outside and be with nature. Look at all these different paths through here. There's so many different paths that you could take. There's a new beginning, okay? So be flexible with this new beginning. Because this is a 9 to a 1 is a 10, okay? So there's a new beginning, just be flexible with the situation. Listen to what the other person has to say. 
Don't hold on to anything too tightly. Let it go. Okay, Divine Feminine, I will pull some cards for the Romance Angels. Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. What is the message coming through for the Divine Feminine? Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Okay, we have Unrequired Love. Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. What is the message coming through for the Divine Feminine? Unrequired Love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. This is that moon card and that, you know, you're in a, you're in a situation where, you know, someone's lying, someone's cheating, someone's stealing from you, someone is not being so truthful to the situation. Now you're starting to get to know each other. This is ambition. You're leaving this situation. So you know the truth. Someone has already told you the truth within this situation or you have told yourself. Okay? So therefore you're leaving. You're walking away. You're getting to know this person. You're getting to know this new person, okay? I feel like you will meet this person within a um, reunion. This is some sort of party, um, some sort of gathering. I feel like this person is definitely bringing you... Wow, so getting to know each other. It's telling you to open up. You could be having a wedding as well, okay? Look, this wedding, you know, I feel like for some of you... There was deception. There was lies. Okay. What is this getting to know each other? And we also have unrequired love. And I feel like all this is right here. All this goes towards, you know, what you've been holding yourself into. Spirit guides, guardian angels. Stay optimistic about your love life. Give gratitude for the things that you have now. Give thanks that you're going through this situation, even though it feels crummy and bad. We have reconciliation here, okay? We have reconciliation. You had some sort of past life with this person. You know this person. This is a spiritual connection coming through here that is going to help you and move you beyond, okay? Show you a new way, a new path. Again, past life, past life past life worth waiting for release your ex check that out we have reconciliation with a past life relationship yes this is worth waiting for you have been waiting for it but they're going to help you release a situation this this soulmate that's coming in this person is going to help you release 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 so that you can grow and take action and step out okay let's see what the lenormand deck has to say here Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, this is for Divine Feminine, August 5th through the 12th. Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, this is for Divine Feminine, August 5th through the 12th. Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, this is for Divine Feminine, August 5th through the 12th. What is the message coming through for the Divine Feminine? Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Healing is being involved. There is a new path for you here, Divine Feminine. A golden opportunity. Don't let it pass you by. Plan this out. Stop sitting around. Stop moping around. If you're not moping, you know, just look at this. Look at this. It's telling you Divine Feminine here. Divine Feminine. We have a child here. We have people talking. Okay. This could represent a child. This could be something small as well. The people are talking about. There is some sort of situation that is involving something new. It is involving you to look at the situation in a new perspective. This is a situation that involves the truth. By looking at it in a new perspective, you have a choice. You can either stay, you know, stay in this situation that is involving this fakeness, you know, this Divine Feminine is, is in a relationship, could be in a relationship, or could not be seeing things clearly with this Divine Masculine here. But if you look at it in a new perspective, you're going to see the truth. You're going to see there's other ways, there's other, other ways to get what you want within this situation. We have communicating, communicating your truth, communicating your wants, your wills, your wishes. This is also, it reminds me of the Star card because this is the wishing well.
and stand strong within them. Stand strong within what you say, within your words that you use when you speak. Who is this Divine Masculine? Okay, this Divine Masculine is, is helping you. I feel like this Divine Masculine here is, is giving you an opportunity. I feel like this is a soulmate as well. This is that soulmate here. This individual could come in and help you, you know, cut away this mountain. You know, this is like a scythe. This is fast. This is getting over these obstacles. You know, um, I feel like this Divine Masculine this is helping you, you know, free yourself. This is an ending to being fake towards yourself, towards other people. You know, this is obstacles. But these obstacles are loyal to your destiny, to your situation, to your path. Okay? Like I said, there's many different ways. There's many different paths to get where you're going. But you have to stand strong and loyal to the situation here. You've been offered a choice. Of course, we all have choices. It's up to you to take them. There is a Divine Masculine here who's going to help you move over these obstacles. Look, there's the, there's, this was going on top of the Divine Feminine right here. These are these obstacles, okay, that you're flying over these mountains, Divine Feminine. And are you going, do you feel lucky, you know? Are you going to gamble? Are you going to get out of this dark place? You know, this is about enterprising, expanding yourself, growing, healing. You could be, you know, um, in a situation uh, mentally, physically, emotionally hurt. Now it's time to heal. Now it's time to look at things in a new perspective and, and move. You know, don't just sit there. Don't let the universe just do the work for you. You have to move beyond that. You can't expect people to do your own work, okay? Now, this is just a message coming through from my spirit guides to you, to the general public, to the general collective, divine feminines, okay? However it resonates with you. Please keep in mind it's not time stamped either. So if this a week from now, a month from now, whenever. But I do have the dates put, I will put the dates on there, okay? If you would like a personal reading, I am having a special just go ahead and shoot me an email and I'll get right back with you. I'm very open. I'm not booked. Okay. So you guys, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And Divine Feminine, good luck.